Hello? I couldn't pick up the phone, it was Mummy. Yes, hi. <laughs> Previously on Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Here's a note. I know something is following me, but I feel like I am prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully, leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I am making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Oh gosh. Um. Okay, so there's some creepy slime monster. Stop me so terrifying, my goodness. Cat dose. I found something today. Oh, no. I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I awoke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I am not sure what brand or year, but there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Uh, I don't think that was wine. Hello and welcome back to Spooky's House of Jump Scares. So, last time, as you probably just saw, because I'll probably do the same thing I did with the Minecraft maps, where you see previously on Spooky's House of Jump Scares, anyway, previously we went through 99 or 100 rooms. I don't know if this elevator is room 100 or if we went through 100 rooms. Anyway, before I begin playing, I have a couple announcements. These have to do with uh, the Minecraft maps that I normally play. Number one is Sorcerer's Dawn, which you may or may not remember from a long time ago. Well, and this happened a while ago, actually. I just, well, not just, but I just <laughs> saw my note to uh, talk about it. Okay, those noises can stop. Uh, that Sorcerer's Dawn, the full version came out. I played the beta version, so if you were interested in Sorcerer's Dawn, go check out the full version. I don't know if I'll play it or not. I am interested in possibly playing it, but time will tell. And also, Into the Depths, which I am currently playing, there is supposedly a sequel that is going to come out, so I am probably more interested in playing that than Sorcerer's Dawn, simply because I kind of already played Sorcerer's Dawn, but I am interested in both of those. Those and Mystery of Glisten, which I played way back at the beginning of this channel in December, are probably my favorite maps of all time. Alright, well, enough about Minecraft, because this is Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Let's press the elevator button. This is the most jamming elevator music I have ever heard. And, of course, we're going deeper because, you know, we couldn't be going up towards the attic. No, we have to be going down into the bowels of the earth. It's still the slowest elevator in the world. So this is floor three and room 101, I guess. Let's open the creepy door. And we're in a whole new world. A whole new world. I don't like this hallway. We have some moss growing. And, like, creepy little geometric pattern kind of thing. Ooh. I don't like this room either. This room's really coated in moss. Or it's painted green. The footsteps sounds are really creepy, too. So, honestly, oh, gosh, that scared the living daylights out of me. Here we go. <laughs> it begins. So there isn't much, what, what I was saying before I was interrupted by that scary little ghost is, okay, I'm going to be interrupted again by pools of radioactive slime. Okay, we'll ignore those. But what I was saying was, so far there isn't much story yet. There's only the person who's leaving notes, but it appears I'm in some kind of, like, 
laboratory or laboratory or... Okay, that one actually didn't scare me too bad, but... Oh, another note. Great, what's on it? I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. Probably it means someone's taking them, but I kind of hope it's the former. Oh my gosh. Stop doing that, little cute ghosts. I don't know why I'm so jumpy today. Normally I'm just like, oh, hey little cute thing. I don't know if they're just scarier today, or if I'm just on edge. Probably being on edge and playing this game is not good, but we're just gonna do it anyway. 111, that was triple one. And I don't know what those slime pools do, but I'm sure that I don't want to step in them. I'm sure that would not be good for my health. Oh, here's another note. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape, but really that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. Oh, so romantic guy died. Did he turn into that green blobby creature? I feel like he turned into that green blobby creature. Also, I know that the next monster is a spider, so I'm not excited about that. I don't like spiders in real life. Oh, a helpful map. Wow. Oh. Oh, I see. Either this map is broken, or the house is rearranging. I'm not sure I like either option. Can I interact with it? Nope, I can't. This type of room. Ah, uh, I just. I'm thinking this is going to have a neat storyline. It feels like it could have an extremely cool storyline. I just. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I think, as I said, I'm in a laboratory of some kind. Before I kept getting interrupted by slime pools and cute little evil jump scare ghosts. But I. I think I'm in a laboratory of some kind, and up because they call them test subjects, right? The different scary things, something like that. I forget. But the test subjects are obviously test subjects, which means there was some experimentation on them. And then who's this person who is leaving the notes? Because obviously he comes into play here somewhere. Oh. Sure, I like that new room. Oh, I don't like this room either. Uh, let's go with the left door. Even though, oh, it's locked. Front door, locked. I said it must be the right door. Murphy's Law, I would pick the last one. <laughs> Is this a- nope, this is not an elevator. What the heck is that? It's maybe a hand? That looks like a baby tree? That's actually what they look like, baby trees of some kind. Or just really wrinkled babies. And a velociraptor head! And this one's broken. Oh, I don't like that. It broke out. Oh gosh, it's the spider. Hey, a note. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep these things docile, I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. Generic lab assistant. And can I get this key card? Card key picked up. Okay, well, I am seriously not liking what probably happened to the generic lab assistant. And I know something broke out, so... <laughs> I guess it opens one of these locked doors. Yep. Okay. 
I believe Subject 5 is loose. <laughs> yep. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. Okay, so we have Romantic Eye. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. It's the spider. Okay, this music is like... Horrifying. I don't even want to check behind me and see if it's chasing me. I don't hear clicking, I just hear this really radical music. I have a feeling those black circles are where it comes out of the ceiling, because he said he heard clicking from the ceiling. Like, maybe if you spend too long on- oh gosh. <laughs> like, maybe if you spend too long under the black circle, it comes out. I'm not gonna stick around and find out, though. Those rooms are really creepy. The... Oh, great. I don't know what those black circles do, and it's really freaking me out. Oh, cat dose! Welcome back, cat dose, our useless little friend. Let's see if... anything has changed. Um, is there anything different on Specimen 1? I'm guessing not. Yeah. Well, Specimen 3, I think, is what's out now. Or is it Specimen 5? Can we check out Specimen 5 now? Is that what this is all about? Where did we stop before? I think Specimen 6 was where we stopped. Okay, so this is like the same cat dose. And we can't modify House Leo. No, so it's just the exact same cat dose. Okay, so let's uh, exit cat dose. Once again, cat dose, you are useless to us. It's okay though, you're still comforting with your little red glow. But for now, the spider thing that never even showed its face is gone. What is that? Oh, I shouldn't be going towards this, should I? But we're going to be really stupid and do it anyway. I probably shouldn't have done this. It's an endless hallway, isn't it? Hello? Hello? Is it too late to just turn back? Let's just turn back. Oh gosh. Well, I came this far, I might as well go all the way. Right? That's good reasoning. Maybe. Or if this hallway never ends, then I'm just getting farther and farther and farther away from turning back. It's annoying that I have to wait for the sprint to recharge, otherwise I'd just sprint all the way down this hallway because it's really boring. Sorry. Um, well, I feel like I'm in Inception of some kind right now, but I feel like it's getting closer. Maybe that's just a trick. Um, yeah, I think that's definitely getting closer. Or... Hmm. I feel like the hallway is shrinking, too. Was it bigger when I first started? I can really swear it's shrinking. Oh gosh. What the heck? Oh. 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 Hey. 
Um. No. 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 Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No. Dead to take the dead to take the dead. Oh, okay. Flashing, flashing lights. Sorry, people with epilepsy. Oh, game, game over. Your soul wanders in an endless maze. That's comforting. Okay, so I think I go back to the checkpoint, right? Checkpoint. Okay, so there's my score right there. Let's type in. I don't know if you can even see that box or not. Okay, loading external assets. Oh, okay, it's going to just load again. Well, let's give it a second. I think it will continue my game. If not, then maybe this is Spooky's House of Jump Scares over. Maybe. Okay, yeah, you've seen this part all before. Blah, 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 blah. Space to skip. Okay, let's press enter. Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I skipped this part. Okay, let's play. Continue. Okay, yes, it does bring you to your save point. Okay, so let's do that again, and this time, let's not be stupid and go down the creepy hallway. You know what? Actually, I'm going to skip when I get to... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna skip when I get to, like, the spider section, because... I don't know. The spider might actually show its face this time. I might cut that out in editing. But whatever the case, I will see you in the future, so... Yeah. Okay, this is a new room, but it's 108, so I'm guessing this is random every time. We're not going to play Mall of the Spook or Mrs. Spook again. But I feel like it's random- oh, hey, Mr. Tree Stump. I feel like it's random every time. Or maybe it's just a different pattern of doors I went through. I have no idea. Because there's that room again. And for a while, I could sprint through the rooms like, really, really fast. Like, my sprint was faster than normal fast. So I don't know what that was about. I think it was just because I died, and so it was giving me a chance to get through all the rooms. I don't know. Whatever the case, I guessed I'd just record again. There's Cat Dose. I don't know. I just figured, you know what, I can speed this or cut it out in editing if it's really boring, so what the heck? Oh, hey, there's a new note. Oh, okay, so that's the same note we saw, just now it's on a pumpkin's face. So that's really cool about this game. You can play the exact same... Hello? I couldn't pick up the phone, it wouldn't let me. Yes, hi, hello. Hello? I don't know if you want to look directly into the fan. Um, yes, hello. Um, hello. Hello. I feel like that was a hint to look into the fan. Okay, whatever, we're going to ignore her. But anyway, I don't what know I was- if you want to look Anyway, what I was saying before the lady on the phone interrupted was that you guys could download this game and play it, and it would be entirely different from uh, the experience I had. So that's that's just really neat. Is it still the right door? Okay, th that part didn't change, I guess. Okay, we just want to come over here and pick up the card. Ignore all the creepy floating specimens. The double velociraptor heads. <laughs> uh, that's, that's too funny. Let's pick up this note, because I'm guessing we have to to get to the next room. Oh great. Yep, now it comes. Okay, so this time I ran out of sprint. Let's see how creepy this thing is, or if I can just actually outrun it. I'm not sure I can outrun it. But I'm not. Once again, I'm not hearing the clicking. 
I even looked behind me this time to try to see it. The music is still as awesome as before, although I feel like it's not the same music. This game is really messing with my mind. So neither of the specimens were too hard to get away from, although I did manage to catch a glimpse of Mr. Gel? I, I don't know. The, the green, kind of blob-like guy. This is not the room I would want to lose my sprint on. And I had this room before last time, before the creepy possible spider thing that I haven't even seen. I feel like it's not even chasing me. Setting. I mean, I'm torn between I'm glad it's not chasing me and... Oh! Oh, there it is. Oh, aren't you a beauty? Oh, yes. Ooh, a spider centipede. Ooh, goody, goody. I'm so glad to have met you. And the music's over, so I assume that means it's done chasing me. Possibly. It's really quiet when it's just my footsteps. Which is unnerving me. Here's the green room with the pools. And this time we have a spider in them. And this time I am not going to go down the endless hallway. I have learned my lesson. Probably I should have checked the door first, but I just thought, you know... It was one of those games that would reward you for exploring, apparently not. It's one of those games that kills you for exploring, so... I, I, I honestly don't know about my feelings for this game. It's a mixture of hatred, fear, loathing, and I like it. triple attack. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape, but really that's not true. This place was like my escape, my escape from everything else. In the end, my death was kind of romantic. I can swear that was in a different room before, like before I met the spider thing. Oh, here's another note. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape, but really that's not true. This place was like my escape, my escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. So, I know the rooms are being shuffled around. It showed that on the map. But, I just... I don't know how I feel about this. So, th there was obviously a lab assistant, so I was right. We're in a laboratory of some kind. That would explain the test subjects. But, or specimens, that's what they call them. I called them test subjects before couldn't think of the name. So the specimens are loose, and I think it has something to do with- gosh, I think it has something to do with Spooky. Because Spooky doesn't seem like a nice person based on the video games. That would just be my take on it, but I'm- I don't know. And I feel like there should be one more room in which the spider's present. I don't like this music at all, whatsoever. I mean, like, there's- ooh. No! <laughs> it's the romantic dude. Keep that blood pump- no. What happened to the wonderful cat posters? Oh. There were supposed to be cat posters. Instead, there's the- oh, the dead dude. I don't want to end up like him. I feel so bad for him. He looks happy, though. He still has his pen and a hat. Wish I could take the hat. I can't interact with him at all, which sucks. But we are going to go through another 100 rooms today, so we are halfway there. The super slow elevator. Meanwhile, we can stare at the happiest poster ever. Keep, keep that blood pumping, guys. I don't... How is that even metaphorical? It, it, I mean, it could be... Well, not metaphorical, but, uh... 
what I want to say. Inspirational. There we go. I mean, I guess it could be an exercise poster, but... Blood pumping would be like... Just means stay alive. That's that's not very... It's not very inspirational. It's what I try to do every day, is stay alive. Mm, I like this hallway. It looks almost like Minecraft. Okay, I don't like this hallway. So forward, right, forward. Okay, so forward, right, forward. So forward. Oh. I don't understand this. So forward. For forward. Right. Forward. Oh, that was left. <laughs> okay, so let's say this is... So left, right, forward, and then something else. Left, right, forward, left. Nope. So it's left, right, forward. And it's not left, I think it's forward. So left, right, forward, forward. Oh, we're done. That would have been horrible if a monster was chasing me. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I almost missed it. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two, but these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. Don't tell me that. Those are not words I want to hear. I've already died once. Once was enough. I'm probably gonna die a lot more throughout this playthrough, but hopefully at least this play session from rooms 100 to 200 will only have me dying once in it, I guess is what I want to say. Ugh, that's horrible English. Oh, I feel very tense. Which, I guess, is what this game is supposed to do. Oh, gosh, that did not help me with my tenseness. Honestly, I mean, uh, I don't know what you guys think when you're watching this, but those little buggers of the cute thingies... I can't even talk today. <laughs> the, the little cute thingies that stick out of the walls are the most terrifying thing in this entire game. They may look adorable to you on screen, and you may laugh at how horrified I am by them, but there is nothing cute about them. And those black holes are still really freaking- Oh! That one's new, it's a grape. Oh! No! Oh! 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 Oh no. Don't do this to me. Oh no, it's the ghost girl, isn't it? She was a Japanese ghost, I think. Oh. Because every time it's like you explore, the ghost appears. There's a flashlight. If there's a flashlight, there's a stinking jump scare. Ha. Huh. Okay, that that's freaky. I don't think I want to go near that. Okay, um, let's just Could it really be true? I thought the 
fairy tales about the ghost that eats children who sneak in after class was just to keep us from disobeying, but Matsuri is still missing. Well, I think I saw Matsuri's creepy shadow. Okay, we're just gonna leave. Why is there a lullaby song playing? This is this is not appropriate music. I just feel really creeped out that the entire time I was in that school, she was probably following me. Wonderful paintings. Wow, this music is getting really loud. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow. I would prefer instructions that were wrong as opposed to just these horrible no instructions of just the horribleness. As I said, I am the English language and I are not on speaking terms today, so uh sorry about that. <laughs> Intended, I guess. Okay, only nine more rooms, and then this can be over for me until next Wednesday, and, or, actually, I'm recording into the depths next Wednesday, so two Wednesdays, I'll be safe. Well, I still haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, sir. Also, I found a strange computer that gave descriptions of the monsters, and it seems like they are called effective based on how many people they kill. So, whatever this lab group of people, I guess you could say, the group of people that run this lab, 
They must have been engineering, like, some kind of... bioweapon? Although it wouldn't be a bioweapon, it would be like a... I don't know, a, a, a polter weapon? <laughs> what, what would you call a ghost that's a weapon? See, if the creepy ghost girl was chasing me and I was in this room, that would have really sucked, but... Right now, apparently nothing's chasing me. Not this, again. Okay, so it's... Left. Oh, is it just the same combination? Left. Oh, what was it? Left, right, forward. Okay, so it's not the same combination. Left. 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 Okay, so it's left, left. 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 Right. So it's left, left, forward. Left. Left. Forward. Right. It was worth a shot. Left. Left. Forward. Left. Only like two more rooms. Wow, I defeated a spider, a ghost girl. I think ghost girl was specimen four. Because specimen one are the things that jump out of the wall. And specimen... Oh, we have a cat this time. Hang in there. And GL Labs. So that must be where we are. And let's read the note. I think the effectiveness of the specimens is also somehow related to the souls of the people they kill somehow. Anyway, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonist will look like. I hope they're cute. Uh, I think that's a huge bit of foreshadowing there. I think it's Spooky is the antagonist, which would be the evil person and a meaning against the, uh... I don't know, I was just gonna give a lesson in Latin, but I forgot what I was going to say. Protagonist, I guess. Yeah, pro would be before the antagonist. I don't know. I don't know. Latin doesn't help me there, and as I said, the English language and I are not on speaking terms, so that means Latin and I are on... We're, we're not even speaking at all. Ever. Anyway, hang in there. We'll get through this together, guys. And I'm not really excited at all to see what lies through rooms 200 through 300, but hey, we are two-tenths of the way, which reduces to one-fifth, so we are a fifth of the way through this, this, this horrible game. Download it if you want, guys. It is definitely... It's definitely very scary. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Tune in next time to find out what happens in the future. But until then, remember to have a stripey day. Au revoir.